Well, this hasn't been used as a cinema since 1980, but there are hints to its heritage almost wherever you look. Most recently, it's been used as a lecture theatre because we're right in the middle of the University of Westminster on Regent Street. Now, when this was built as a theatre in 1848, it was used to show off the innovations of the day, the curious new things. And so it made sense, I suppose, that the Lumiere brothers chose this to show off their first films. Well, now it has a very exciting future, a luminous one, you might say, and to tell us more is the <laughs> Deputy Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor of the University. What is the future of this place now? Well, Wendy, um, as you've said, this is a fascinating hub, and that's what we see it being in the future. It is going to open again as a cinema for the public, but it's going to be much more than a cinema. It's going to draw on our heritage and our history, the history of film, the history of photography, which the university has been very much at the centre of. And of course, you've had quite a long campaign to raise money so far. Just tell me a little bit about that. We have indeed, and we're trying to raise six million pounds, which is a lot of money. And we've had a great deal of success already, thanks to our various sponsors. We've raised about two thirds of the funds so far. Um, we have a very generous donation from the Heritage Lottery Fund who are working with us as partners so that we can work on community work. And there are lots of ways that people can support the campaign as it, as it moves off into this new exciting phase.